Digitising processes on your construction and real estate projects can save hours each week, keeping projects on time and on budget. The first step to managing a project digitally with Plan Radar is to determine what types of information you want to collect and track. Then you create forms to match your requirements. Forms determine what information is captured in a ticket. A ticket is where you track tasks, jobs, defects and more. You can pin them directly on your plans. Let's get started creating a form. First, navigate to Forms and List in your left-hand navigation bar. Click Create a new form to get started. Then give your form a name. Here you build your form by selecting fields which appear in your ticket. There are two types of fields. First are default fields, where the film name cannot be changed. This includes a title field, a status field to set the task as open, in progress, resolved or closed, a priority field which can be high, normal or low, progress, a slider bar to track how far along the task is to completion, an assignee, someone you'll delegate the task to complete, a receiver, which acts as a CC function to keep certain team members informed about the ticket. And finally, a due date. Team members can adjust their profile settings to receive reminder emails ahead of the due date. These fields appear in the ticket exactly as they are shown here. The second type are customizable fields. Here you can change the field name to whatever you need. For example, you could add a long text field and name it description. You could add a number field and name it estimated cost. Or you could add a checkbox and align it to something that needs to be checked off on site, such as fire doors inspected. Now let's talk about the list field. This is a drop down menu where users can select from predefined options. Let's say you want your team to fill in the weather at your project site each day. You'd add a list field to your form and title it weather. Then you'd need to apply a list. Click Save on your progress. Then, let's click over to the List view to set up these options. In the List view, click Create a new list. Then name your list. Then you can add your options. We'll add Sun, Rain, Wind, Snow, Thunderstorms. These lists can be as long as you need. For long lists, you can import from an Excel file. When you've got your options ready, click Save and Close. Now click back to the Form view and reopen your form. Once you have all fields in your form, you can preview how it will look within your tickets. If you decide you'd like to move fields into a different order, just grab the lines on the right and drag and drop to where you'd like fields placed. Finally, you can choose to enable certain capabilities within the form. Media allows you to add photos, videos and audio files to your ticket. Plan position will show the location on the plan within the ticket. Comments activates the chat function so you can collaborate on a ticket with your team. Repeat lets you schedule the due date for multiple occasions. And Store Geolocation aligns your ticket to GPS coordinates. Once your form has been created, you need to add it to your project. To do this, go to Projects. Select the project you want to add it to. Click Forms. Then apply your form to the project. Once you've added your form, you also need to apply the list you've created. Select the list from the drop-down menu and click Apply. The forms and list only need to be created once, then can be applied to any project making projects set up fast and simple. Creating custom forms is an important step in the digitization of construction and real estate projects. It ensures your teams are capturing only the correct information, keeping everything streamlined and saving time on site.